Hi everybody, it's me Bambi here and I am less than a week, or well, actually less than two weeks away from my surgery. I am very excited. For those of you who aren't aware, I am having a breast augmentation surgery done. Um, for those of you who know me, they're like, finally, but <laughs> um, I only say that because I have been obsessing over this for the last 20 years. Anyone who knows me knows that's pretty much all I talk about. Oh, I want to get my boobs done. Oh, look at my boobs. They're so sad. Oh, my boobs, my boobs, my boobs. It's like, bitch, shut up and just do it already, right? So I did. I finally got brave enough to actually go get the guts enough to spend the money and do it. Um... I will be paying $38.99 for my breast augmentation surgery. I'm getting saline for 50 cc's. I'm going under the muscle through the areola. I'm getting high profile and I believe they will be round high profile. I don't think they're anatomical. I will find that all out later though, of course. I will give you guys a video on that as well. But I want to give you guys some pointers and some tips on how to get ready if you are having a surgery yourself. Um, with breast augmentation surgery, I would say if you have children and you've ever, well, not even, I don't even think it's like, uh, it would be the same if you had a C-section too. Um, if you've ever had children, that last month you're supposed to pack a bag and prep everything like you know you're going away for years and so basically you do the same thing um some things that i say that i would recommend doing in order to assure yourself a very happy and complete unstressful uh, recovery i would recommend that you do all your grocery shopping do all your laundry um go you know do your house cleaning um also maybe Cook a few meals, you know, maybe if you have like a, a, like a few, uh, like some stuff that the family can eat. If you have like kids in a big family and you know you're not going to be able to be up in the kitchen cooking and stuff like that, then cook a few meals like spaghetti, uh, like uh, beans and rice, things that can be frozen for a couple of days and the family can just go in there and put it in the microwave or whatever for themselves. Or, um, you know, try and arrange for someone to come in and help you with child care, pet care and things like cooking and uh, to help with the children, you know, homework, stuff like that, that you will probably be unable to do for the first couple of weeks. Because uh, usually with under the muscle surgery, with over the muscle surgery, they say you recover pretty fast, but under the muscle, because they are basically separating the muscle from the chest wall, your muscle has to have time to recover. It, and so it just does take some time. Think in terms of the rectus abdominis when you had your child, and how long it took for you to be able to regain the strength and the ability to use that muscle to like do sit-ups or to sit back up. So if you know how that works, that's basically the same thing. It's another muscle that's going to need time to repair and, um, and be back to normal. Uh, also, if you're working, request light duty or see if you can get your vacation time so that way you can have time to recover stress-free free without putting extra strain on your body. Um, let's see, get some, com get comfy clothes and uh, avoid smoking and caffeine. So I will show you guys just some things that I picked up to make my recovery just a little bit easier. Okay, so first off, uh, let's talk pillows. Usually everybody, uh, looks for these type of pillows here, which is good. I already have one of those, uh, but also... I have from when I was breastfeeding, I have my boopy, boppy, whatever that thing is called. Um, basically, I would be using it to like use as a, a extra cushion against my back. Rather than using it forward, I'm using it backwards like this. So I can just sit, sit back right here. And if I want to turn it back like this, it gives me that position where I could actually literally sleep like this. I also have, here's my neck pillow, I also have a neck pillow, which is so cool because it matches my Hello Kitty pajamas, <laughs> I also have a neck pillow, 
And I could just slide around like this. So if absolutely necessary, I could do this. And be sleep. No problem. See? Very comfy. Um, my next thing that I got is peas. You have to excuse me. I am horrible when it comes to new stuff. I just rip it open. A peas ice pack. It's for hot or cold therapy. And you can freeze it or microwave it to your desired temperature. It retains the temperature longer than a regular ice pack. The soft outer casing is flexible. And it's soothing therapy for pain, swelling, and tension. And this is what it looks like. And so if you're just wondering about how big it is, this is the medium one. And as you can see, it sits perfect. So I can just boop, put that right there and be all good. And I also have little ones for my kids. And so if necessary, if that's not enough, I can just throw those little guys in there too. Uh, what else? Uh, as far as scar therapy, I have... Scar Away, which is 100% silicone scar diminishing serum. Um, it is said to be useful on new and old scars. It's a gel that you use with this little uh, applicator here, and you basically massage it over the scar. So it's basically supposed to be using massage and silicone in order to alleviate the scar. I also got uh, these C-section scar strips, which are uh, silicone sheeting, and I've read a lot of people saying that they are using silicone strips, and that the ones that they, the doctor gives them give them eventually fall off, so they have to go and get some more in order to reduce the scarring. Of course, I got a stool softener in order to prevent constipation from the anesthesia. I got uh, my pill tabs here, or pill uh, holders, so that way I don't have to mess with those stingy bottles. Everybody keeps talking about how they can't open their medication and how they've been having trouble and they have to have someone do it for them. So I figured this is a good way to do it. I just put it in there. This gives me two weeks at a time. Um, vitamin E. I'm hearing a lot of talk about vitamin E, and are, are there's something called Ar Arnica or Arkina cream that I don't have it yet, but I'm gonna go pick some of that up too. Um, let's see. I sorry for saying um so much. It's just a bad bad habit. Uh, sports bras, sports bras. So if you've been keeping up with me, you know you've probably seen these before, but I will be taking them with me just in case to see if there are if he wants to put me in these out the door as you can see they both um, they both clasp in the front this one is a 36 from Fruit of a Loom and this one is a 36 as well from Fruit of a Loom I got them at Walmart this one was $7.94, and this one was $9.99. I got uh, some nice little comfy slippers to match my nice little comfy pajamas. Because when you're in there, you don't want to wear tennis shoes or dress shoes or anything like that because you're going to be in compression socks. And you want to be as comfortable as possible. You're not going to be just, you're going to be wheeled out and all that stuff. You're not going to be wanting to tip it in your, your stilettos. And uh, these are my pajamas. As you can see, it's open. Uh, uh, a button-up front, button-up closure, which makes it easy as I'm leaving and the pants the bottoms are drawstrings which makes it easy for me to get dressed just put them up and more than likely they'll probably be doing that for me um, and 
what I did find out is I heard so many people saying, talking about single air, and I'm an asthmatic, and so I haven't actually had to take single air because I guess that is something similar to like Alupin and Theodore from back when I was a kid, and so I have never had to take that, and so I thought there was like an over-the-counter alternative, but it's not. So if you are considering um, using single air as a part of your recovery option, then you do need to inform your plastic surgeon surgeon and ask for them to. Um, prescribe that to you because it's an asthma medication and so they might not do it because you don't have that prior pre-existing condition so I'm gonna ask my plastic surgeon and see if because I do have asthma already if they will give me a prescription for it maybe they will maybe they won't I'll let you guys know um, of course because my mom has always had that just make sure you always have clean panties so, I brought new panties for my uh, surgery. Not like, I mean, you know, you're going to take them with you, but just don't get caught dead in dirty draws. So, <laughs> brand new panties out the box. And, of course, while I'm shopping for panties, I couldn't help but shop for a few more cute things. I'm not taking this to the surgery with me. This is adorable. I love this top. I love, what I actually like is this design on the straps. I really like it. And... this top right here and the reason why I show you these things is because these are tops and shirts and stuff that I would never have worn I wouldn't wear right now if I don't get the breast augmentation then these things will never be worn <laughs> but that's not gonna happen um okay now is this adorable or what that is definitely later because it's not a closed top but I figure like in a month or so I should be able to wear that um oh and my Hello Kitty fridge. Hello, it's awesome. It's got hot and cold, and it helps me avoid having to call people into my room all day and night for them to bring me stuff like cupcakes and goodies and stuff that I want. <laughs> okay, you guys. So this has been my recovery video, or my video on what things to bring with you uh, for recovery. Also, make sure you have all your pertinence, like your medical card, your ID, um, your your uh, cash card. You know, you don't need to bring all of your stuff. I would say bring a very small purse with just your basic important information in there and whatever other uh stuff that the plastic surgeon gives you to bring to your surgery center and that's it and a small bag with the rest of your items in there like well actually you wouldn't even need that because if I were you I would wear the bra the sports bra to the actual uh, surgery so you don't even have to carry that you know just make it as easy as possible because bottom line is this when you come out and you're on the anesthesia if this is anything like the anesthesia that I got when I had my uh, my daughters you're not totally out of it, but it's just groggy. You're not going to want to feel like doing anything. So uh, just make sure you try and make it as easy on yourself and your body as possible. Uh, I hope this will be it until you guys see me actually going on my way to the surgery center. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.